okay hey everyone so um i got a request on my last video to talk more about the hood piercing because i basically broke down every piercing that i have because it was requested that i do so um but before i get into the details of the hood piercing um i just want to address a comment that was in my description not my description in the comment box um and i'm not trying to shine light on this person to like you know in a negative way but i just want to say if you're here on my channel, obviously I'm putting out content that I want to put out. I could take requests and not do them. Um, but I also wouldn't lie if I said someone requested something versus me wanting to do it myself. So basically, I'm not going to say what the comment says because y'all can see down below. But I have no reason to lie about what I want to share. It's my body. If I wanted to share it, I wouldn't say people want to know. Basically, I wouldn't have lied and said, oh, I just want to share, but I'm going to say that people are requesting it. I don't have to do that. I don't, I mean, there's going to be people who like my content and people who don't. I can't please everybody and I'm not going to stress myself out trying to. I love my piercings. Just like a person tells you how many tattoos they have on their body. If someone wants to know about how many piercings I have on my body, I'm going to say something. I'm a girl. I have a vagina. Why is that such a sensitive topic? And if you feel uncomfortable you seen the picture you didn't even have to comment you didn't even have to watch you know what i mean but for those of you who want to know more about the hood piercing let's get more into that all right so i made some notes and we're just going to get right into it i'm going to tell you what i read like some facts that i read uh, before getting the piercing myself and then i'm going to intertwine like my thoughts and my experiences as well so uh, first off i chose to get the vertical piercing which means that it goes straight up and down through the hood and you can see uh two balls so one at the top and one like over the clitoris or right where the clitoris is so not everyone can get their hood pierced it all depends on your anatomy um they're gonna have to evaluate if you can or not and they will let you know and you can probably go with other vagina piercings after that so the hood if you don't have a hood or it's too small to pierce you know that might um be one of the factors that'll stop you from getting that piercing uh for me i was able obviously to get it done but he had to um go with a different size than what is the normal one um because of how my body is so um it's a slightly curved bar so you know you can either get regular size a smaller size or even a longer size it all depends on how your anatomy is when i read uh, about the pain a lot of people say it's quick but it's painful um so i was expecting it to be painful because it's such a private area and not often do you put like needles and stuff down there unless you went to some other stuff <laughs> some crazy stuff but uh, i thought it was gonna hurt based on what i read but when i actually got mine done it did not hurt like i said in my video previously it was probably the most unpainful um experience or piercing that i've had and i have quite a few or have had quite a few just based on reading it you're gonna think it hurt but when you go in you're also gonna think it hurt because when they're trying to figure out the size and where to put the needle through it it gives you a weird feeling and it's not a weird good feeling to me it was like oh yeah this is gonna hurt type feeling but once they actually pierced it he was like take a breath in i did and then when i breathe out i was like waiting for it to happen or to feel the little weirdness that i felt before when he was trying to find where to put the needle um i didn't have any of that it was like through and i was like wow that was like nothing i know a couple of people who have the hood piercing and they say that while it's healing it intensifies or if it rubs against like your panties and stuff like you basically get a sensation and you y'all know what i'm trying to say oh girl got me scared to be open as i am because I don't want to offend any more people but um basically it rubs against things and it gives you a very intense sensation if you know what i mean um i didn't experience that actually when it rubbed against my panties or if i wore too tight pants it irritated me more than anything it should be healed or mostly healed between two and six weeks um and they said completely healed in i guess a couple of months uh 
as far as if you can get back to like having sexual intercourse they say that you, they say that you should wait you know till it's completely healed um healed but when i was talking to the guy he was like it's it's not that you can't do it it's just that you risk rubbing against it or being too rough with it depending on what you like um so if you are going to try to do something um it needs to be in a way to where it doesn't rub against your new piercing um and it's not recommended to have anybody put their mouth on your open wounds either so that's out <laughs> once it is healed um they say that it it that it it but once it heals, it increases the feeling so it's heightened um and it's because of the stimulation you're getting from the piercing touching the private part you know the clitoris so um yeah usually it's heightened uh, i know a lot of people are scared to get it because i was because i was like it can either heighten or it could make you lose feeling which the hood is just a piece of skin it's not like going through the clitoris where it can hit a nerve and it stop having feeling the hood is just skin that protects the clitoris so you piercing that more than likely i don't know if there's cases where people lost feeling off the hood but more than likely you won't it will heighten your sensation due to the piercing stimulating the clitoris so because I didn't get specific questions, I decided to go through the whole thing about the hood piercing. Hope, hopefully I answered any question that you may have had um, about the hood piercing since you just you guys just wanted to know the details. Um, so anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day, night, or whatever it is where you are.